Beethoven, the great and inaccessible genius of music, as emerges from his biographical notes, knew Pythagoras' theorem on the esoteric key. In these notes he strongly states, I am always able to catch the fate by the horns, and I will rule it with my will, with the power of the will. I will dwell on this particular aspect of the doctrine of thought, as I judge it important, fundamental in the formation of a strong human, by using this word in its full sense, not deficient in anything, or natural, as necessary to the initiated and to children, gradually, not only in physical gymnastics, to give strength and harmony to the body, but also in that of intellect and will this above all things, to prepare a conscious, moral, and powerful human, prepared, seasoned, ready to be included in the society as an element of value, capable because he is equipped with the energy needed to produce, with a higher level of responsibility, goods and assets, in terms of the wisest and most noble meaning of the word, to write the name rightly so in the great book of life, Maestro. This aspect of the Thoth doctrine is the natural law of harmonies, also encountered by modern science in the world order and of the heavens, from atoms to galaxies, from the smallest source of energy to the largest, by the electron, feminine expression, so erroneously marked by moderns as a negative. The electron is anything but negative being immeasurable in its energy, which sets in motion all acquisition processes, from smallest to the quasar. Hence, away from laziness and hallucinations, away from false solutions, let us restore, for on the contrary, with courage, the natural law, which I repeat is musical, but which as such necessarily requires the proper means as are the notes in composing a true melody, as it should be the correct dose of medicine to heal the sick. Therefore, let us not deceive young people with mirages of false and hypocritical, poisonous mercy, but let me explain with clear language of love, definitively, but not with those crybaby prayers so typical for some political actors, maniacs of protagonism and only in search of votes, who speculate with diseases, weaknesses, anomalies, crime itself, in the hunt for undeserved glory. Let's tell you all about it, the truth, that they may see with measured optimism the near future, and consciously accept responsibilities, in order to walk towards their goal by appropriate means, and necessarily moral. Reaching comprehensive welfare, which rests on the foundations of sound, hard and solid victory, then yes, they will discover the musical direction of life and judge it correct, enthusiastic, the Italian proverb, not so ancient, work is poetry. I will try to explain. We all know, we learned in school when we were children, that thought was called by all the Egyptians the herald of the gods, or divine scribe. The Greeks carried him to their Olympus, changed his name to Hermes, and grateful for the high science that he had conveyed to Solomon, Pythagoras and Plato, they decreed the title three times greatest, Trimeskistus, preserving thus almost unchanged his functions. But the Greeks took away his features, the traditional holy ibis, the bird symbol of science, and Praxiteles the Great in the 4th century BC, or his relative Adash in the first half of the 2nd century BC, carved it in pure pental marble with wonderful art and grace, together with Dionysus, leaning on a tree like a boy, an incredibly beautiful statue, which expresses the ideal of that era of thriving, the original was discovered in Olympus in 1877 and to this day is exhibited in the local museum. Thoth is the founder of the ancient science. As religious, so secular, 
the creator of music, the inventor of the lyre and writing, the unrepeatable authority of the proper name, of the correct sign, of the punctual infallible word, of wise counsel of salvation. Whether to the Egyptians or the Hellenes, he also had the function of mediator, respectively between God, the One, Atom or Zeus, and humans, in Olympus, Sparta and Athens. He was also regarded as the divine protector of dedicated youth physical gymnastics, courses in integral gymnastics in Egypt, which included that of the soul, initial knowledge of the mind and of the will, thus aiming at the molding of the strong human, perfect in mind and body. Only on the subject of the sentence, Thoth speaks Albanian, can be written an incredibly voluminous treatise, but that is not my duty. However, this does not dismiss me from the duty to give a description in general terms about it, because we are dealing with a principal pathfinder for mankind, with the founder, I repeat, of the one science, completely unified, as there are in it no shortage of any of the branches or disciplines which constitute all knowledge. Thoth is also called Tat, first name Thoth, expresses nature and function, that is exactly what we have most learned at school. The second, Tat, shows its construction. In truth, Tat consists of the hieroglyphs which phonetically sound like the letters T-A-R, but whose esoteric meaning is this. Torah, Albanian, Torah, Hebrew. The hieroglyph often replaced by the hieroglyph I J Y E purified initial light eternal beginning of life God the same for the Illyrians as well as for the Egyptians and the Jews the final hieroglyph is the same as the beginning indicating always the law but in the sense of its relativity so expresses the manner inspired by the first law the way that man should behave on earth as a condition to achieve his natural goal and then fulfillment, fullness of being, safe ascension towards haven. <laughs>